Welcome to Wee Guy TV. In this video, part five, I'm going to discuss about Kirchhoff's law. It's a very important law for current electricity. In current electricity, we already discussed about Ohm's law. But in few circuits, Ohm's law is inadequate to find the current to each branch. So in those cases, we need Kirchhoff's law. In Kirchhoff's law, we have two rules. The first rule is called junction rule. Next rule is called loop rule. Junction rule is very simple. Current entering the junction is equal to current leaving the junction. It means, for example, I1 and I2 are the current entering the junction. It will go as I3, I4 and I5. So I can write it as what is the current entering I1 plus I2 is equal to current leaving I3 plus I4 plus I5. If you take this all to the other side, that term become minus in sign and we can write sigma i equal to zero. That only we call it as algebraic sum of current at junction is zero. Or algebraic sum of the current is zero at the junction. Or in other form, current entering the junction is equal to current leaving the junction. It gives law of conservation of charge. Law of conservation of charge. Okay, clear? Now, loop rule. Loop rule means instead of this junction, I take a loop. Here I have taken a loop with a cell and two resistors. The current comes out from the cell, passes through R1 and then to R2. Right? Now, if you take the closed loop A, B, C, D, A, you have to take what is the voltage across the first resistor IR1. What is the voltage across second resistor IR2? That should be equal to the voltage of the cell. Or I can write IR1 plus IR2 minus E equals 0. You may get confusion that why I wrote minus E. Because in a loop, my current is coming in a clockwise direction. And I am entering into the negative terminal. So when you enter to the negative terminal, put as minus. This is a sign convention. I will discuss more sign convention with the numericals I am discussing just now. Okay, now we we'll remember in a loop rule, the algebraic sum of potential around a closed loop is zero. Because if you are taking this, this is nothing but the product of current and resistance. As there are two sums, we can call these two as algebraic sum of this. And this is your E. Only one cell means one E. If there are two cells, sigma of E. So I can write sigma IR plus sigma E equals zero. That means law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy i'll go for the first question it's a very good question there are 12 resistors are connected at the 12 edges of a cube and the corners of a and c dash you connect a cell of 10 volt so for easy convenience i'm just taking the current here it is 3i it's only convenience. I discussed in the previous one about one question. If the resistors are same. Here they gave 12 resistors of value 1 ohm. So it means that these all resistors are same. So current divides equally. This is R, this is R, this is R. So for convenience I told. So I can take I, I, I. All together it is 3I. When this I comes here, again there are two paths. So here the current become I by 2. Here also current become I by 2. When this I by 2 reaches here, from here also one current is coming. This I goes here, splits to I by 2, I by 2. This I by 2 and this I by 2 together reaches the junction C and all together goes as I. This I reaches here. Similar way, this I by 2 and this I by 2 together comes as I. Here also, this I by 2 and from the down one I by 2 coming and this should be I. So, total I, I, I together comes as 3I. You understood how I made the current? Now, you take a loop. I am taking a loop A, B, C, C dash, E, A. It means the outer long loop I am taking. So, my loop is going in a clockwise direction. See my current? Current also. This is clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. Then you take the voltage term. 
current into resistance i into r here i by 2 into r here also i into r when i am coming negative terminal coming first so ir plus i by 2 r plus again ir minus 10 equals 0 that is 2 ir plus i by 2 r equal 10 5 by 2 ir equal 10 i equals 20 by 5 r that is 4 ampere clear we'll go for the next question this is little more complicated circuit with the two cells 10 volt 5 volt so in this question i am taking from the 10 volt current comes out is i1 when i1 reaches junction a a amount of current a small amount of current will goes up that is i2 the remaining will come down that is i minus i2 i uh, sorry i1 minus i2 i1 i2 i1 minus i2 i2 will come here at the same time here also one positive terminal of the cell current comes out is i3 both together will comes down that is i2 plus i3 then i2 plus i3 reaches c you should have an idea what is the current coming out from the cell same current should go into the cell so here current goes out is i1 means current here going inside also i1 so it means that what is the remaining current goes down through cd i2 plus i3 minus i1 clear then after that this i1 minus i2 will come down this i2 plus i3 minus i1 will come down all together goes up so i2 minus i2 cancel minus i1 i1 cancel so the total current entering through 5 volt is i3 clear tell again i i1 i2 i1 minus i2 goes here comes here i3 both together go down i2 plus i3 in that i1 will go through this branch rest will come down i2 plus i3 minus i1 this and this all together form as i3 take the loop i'm taking the loop a d c a this loop i'm taking an anti clockwise loop but my loop and my current direction is same so i will take the term as positive i repeat my loop and my current direction are same so the voltage term is 4 into i1 minus i2 4 into i1 minus i2 when i'm going up my loop is going up but the current is coming down so i put a minus 2 into i2 plus i3 minus i1 when i'm going like this this current and my loop are in the same so plus 1 i1 i'm reaching the negative terminal so minus 10 equals 0 solving i'll get 7 i1 minus 6 i2 minus 2 i3 equals 10 take the next loop a b c a in this case my current is going in a clockwise direction. So voltage term 4 I2 plus 2 into I2 plus I3 plus 1 into I1 minus 10 equals 0. I get a term 6 I2 plus I1 plus 2 I3 equals 10. I will take one more term that is B C D E B. This term my current is coming in an anti-clockwise direction. But by loop also same. So 2 into 2 into I2 plus I3 plus 2 into I2 plus I3 minus I1 coming minus 5 equals 0. 4 I2 plus 4 I3 minus 2 I1 equal to 5. If you see the first equation and the second equation, you can add the term 6 I2 minus 6 I2, 6 I2 cancel. Minus 2 I3 plus 2 I3 cancel. Trust is 8 I1 equal 20, I1 equal 20 by 8. After that, second equation I multiplied with the 2. That is 12 I2 plus 2 I1 plus 4 I3 equals 20. Equation number 4. This equation and the third equation you subtract it. I will get 8 I2 plus 4 I1 equal 15. 8 I2 equal 15 minus 4 I1. 15 minus 4 into 20 by 8. 120 minus 80 by 8. That is 5 by 8 ampere. After getting I1 and I2, I substituted I1 and I2 in equation number 2. I will get here I3 equal 15 by 8 ampere. So I need to tell a very important thing. The first thing, splitting of current, you should do properly. Next one, after that, the loop, how we are taking. 
In this video, I'm discussing all the important questions of Kirchhoff's law. See a different question. 2 volt, 1 volt, 4 volt. All positive terminals are connected like this. How will you do this sum? In this, my convention is, I will find out which is higher. 4 volt is higher. So, I will take from 4 volt, one current comes out, that is I3. It is split to I1 and I2. So, I will write a very important equation first. I3 is equal to I1 plus I2. After that, next is simple. Consider the loop. F, C, D, E, F. Upper rectangular loop I am taking in an anti-clockwise direction. When I am coming like this, I met the positive terminal. So, 1 plus 1. When I am going like this, I know that the current in this is coming. So, see, this current is coming in this direction only because they gave it like this. So, 3 into what is the current coming here? Here, see, here I have taken this as I2 and this as I1. Okay. So, see, when we are taking here, 1 volt I got it plus 3 into I2. When I am going up, it is 4 into minus I1. When we are meeting a negative terminal, minus 2 equals 0. 3i2 minus 4i1 equal 1. If you are taking the loop f c b a f. So I am meeting first which terminal? First I am meeting positive terminal. So it is 1. This is 3 into i2. When I am going like this, you, you know that here the current. 2 ohm the current should come in this direction because these two current will go like this and all together the current i3 goes in this direction. So, I can write 1 plus 3 I2 plus 2 I3 equal uh, minus 4 equals 0. Minus 4 going to other side become plus 4. So, 3 I2 plus 2 I3 equals to 3. After that, the important equation I3 equals I1 plus I2. After this, I am substituting equation 3 in equation 2. I get an equation 5 I2 plus 2 I1 equal 3. After that, I am doing full mathematical step. Equation 4 into 2, I did. I get an equation, equation number 5. And this equation, when I am adding with equation number 1, 4 minus 4i1 plus 4i1 cancel, we will get 13i2 equals 7. i2 equals 7 by 13 ampere. After getting i2, substitute the value of i2 in equation number, equation number 6. We get the value of i1. I get a value as I1 equals 2 by 13 ampere. So, I got I2, I got I1. I3, we know that it is the sum of both. So, one is 2 by 13, other one is 7 by 13 means total current is 9 by 13. Very important question in which all the positive terminals are joined to one point. So, how I, how I have taken? I took the bigger voltage. From that current goes. So see, it is like what you learn. It's like just opposite, right? Current is going to the positive terminal and it's coming out. Here also it is going into the positive and it is coming out. Next question. This is also an another type of question. They are given two cells here. 5 volt, 4 volt. Okay, so here also from the 4 volt I can take the current as I1, from 5 volt I take the current as I2, both together will go, so I am taking as I3, you can take I1 plus I2 also, I took as I3, when it reaches here, I1 will go back to his home, I2 will go back to his home, simple, simple language I told, now I am taking the loop, so first I have taken this loop, okay, I did not write the loop name, first I have taken the loop of this side, which one? PRSP. PRSP means 20 into I1 plus I2 plus 200 I2 equal to 5. Next, I am taking the loop as PRQP. When I am taking PRQP, it is 20 I1 plus I2 plus 60 I1 equal to 4. Next is, we are just making the terms similar. So, I got it here as 80 I1 plus 20 I2 equal to 4. So, I multiply this equations. Okay. So, I multiply this equation. These two terms I have written here. So, I am just multiplying these equations. Multiplying equation 4. I multiply it with 4 only. So, I got the similar terms. 
80 I1 plus 20 I2 equal to 4. I got it as 80 I1 plus 880 I2 is equal to 20. So I got 860 I2 is equal to 16. I2 value is 16 by 860. That is 4 by 215 ampere. Okay. So it's very simple. I directly started from here. Okay. It's, uh, because you can do it directly from here. Here in the side I have given for explanation. The people those who are not understanding you can just check it here. Okay. This one is not required because directly you can write I3 as I1 plus I2. So this is the first step. You can do it. If you are not understanding this part you can just look at here. This two equation I have written in terms of I3. That's all. But I just started that. I told you here I3 is nothing but the combination of I1 and I2. Simple, simple, this question is very simple only. Only one thing, what is the current coming, uh, coming out from the cell that should be the same current going into the cell. That idea should be there. That's a very important thing we need. Then, and another, that is the last question of Kirchhoff's law. In this, if you see, it is similar like previous question, but in one branch, there are two cells. 2 volt, 1 volt. 3 volt, 1 volt. Here what I am doing is, in the same branch, I will take the bigger one. 3 volt is bigger than 1 volt. So from 3 volt, current comes out. Here also, from the 2 volt, the current comes out. So I can take this current as I2 and this current as I1. This I1 only go through this 1 volt. This only I2 only will go through this 1 volt. So I have taken this as I1. I1 will go up and it goes through this volt and it is coming like this. And if you are taking this one, I2, because 2 volt is higher one, from I2 current will comes like that, it will go through this 1 volt and coming in this direction. Okay. Now, here this current is I2 I mark. Then I have taken the loop. Which loop I am taking? You see, D, D, C, B, D. This loop. Take it here. First negative terminal minus 3, plus 3 I1, plus 1 I1. Plus 1 volt because positive terminal. When I am going like this, you should be very clear here. Here my I1 is coming down. But I2 is opposite. So I wrote I1 minus I2 into 3 is equal to 0. I got the first equation. 7 I1 minus 3 I2 equal to 2. But when I am taking the loop A, D, B, A. See the current is going like this. So 1 into I2 positive terminal plus 1. When I am going like this, my I2 is in this direction. I1 is opposite. So I wrote just opposite. I2 minus I1. When I am going like this, I made negative terminal minus 2. Plus 2 I2 equals 0. I got 6 I2 minus 3 I1 equals minus 1. Multiply equation 1 with 2. 14 I1 minus 6 I2 equals 4. Equation number 3. Add equation 3 and 2. If you are adding 6 I2 minus 6 I2 cancel 11 I1 equal to 5. I1 equal 5 by 11 ampere. Substitute I1 in any equation. I am substituting equation I1 in first equation. That is 3 I2 equals 7 I1 minus 2. That is 7 into 5 by 11 minus 2. I got 35 by 11 minus 2. 35 minus 22 by 11. That is 13 by 33 ampere. So, I discussed the most important five questions from Kirchhoff's. This question you got it. So, what we are doing? The same branch, two, uh, two voltages. So, how we have taken? From the bigger one, you take the current as coming. Okay, clear? This question, it was simple only. You have to take from this branch I1 plus I2. This question, see, all positive terminals are joined to one point. What we are taking? From the greater one you take the current comes out. That splits to I1 and I2. See the other question. This is very simple. It's only current division rule we are applying. And this one it's a symmetric circuit of equal resistor. How I did. So total this five question if you know. You can do any questions of Kirchhoff's law. Any questions of Kirchhoff's law. So in short I want to tell there are two rules for Kirchhoff's rule. Junction rule and loop rule. Loop rule when you are taking you consider a loop. And loop may be clockwise or anticlockwise. That doesn't matter. But your loop and the current should be in the same direction. Term is positive. Your current and loop are opposite. You take that term as negative. If you meet negative terminal of the cell first, take it as negative. And if you meet the positive terminal, take it as positive term.
okay i hope you like this video if you need more videos subscribe our channel we guide tv thank you